As a continuation of last Saturday's talk, Saro will today uh, discuss in further detail uh, the subject on Sila. ลูกนี้ดิขอตอบไปอากาศิกะอุญญาณนามะตัตตะอกุตละกรรมปะทะวุรมะนันสระวะอุญญาณนี้สระอกุตละกรรมปะทะเตยะเสวะกะฉ่
under the care of competent teachers to learn up some uh, knowledge to, to learn some skill or trade and how they should also uh, find ways and means to support the children for the education and uh, also in bringing them up and uh, finally to see to their uh, marriage when they come of age. นี่บ่มีอ่ะตาตุ๊บิบ่มีอ่ะพอมาเมตตากุณฑะทาพี่แล้วปุถุยะจีแล้วโทตุตาพี่มีอ่ะแล้วเบ้อปุถุยะจี
religious teachers should relate with uh, respect to their uh, followers and, so, and vice versa. Sahara will not be able to go through each of uh, these fasts in detail, but it might be possible to run to them in a very brief uh, way. These duties and obligations are quite essential for society in this planet and uh, it is felt that no matter what happens one should try one's best to fulfill all these obligations. This is quite true. In this world, there are certain things that one should not do, that one should avoid, one should shun, one should exercise a great deal of restraint. And if one is not able to refrain from doing such an such uh, uh, inappropriate thing, then one would be very well, one could very well be classified as a unwholesome person. On the other hand, there are certain things that ought to be done in this society, and if we do not do them, do not fulfill our obligations, then we may be also regarded from a very negative uh, point. We may ask, what's the point of trying to fulfill such social or human obligations? Well, the point is that these human obligations conduce to a spirit of loving care, of considerate care and kindness for each other, and also to harmony and unity. It is that these obligations and duties serve as links that link us together in the spirit of loving care, of metta, and harmony. The more one's obligations are fulfilled, the closer the link of metta, of karuna, of passion, and mudita is is made. The closer one is able to uh, fulfill one's obligations, the closer we get and the more united and in harmony we can be with one another. Again, we may ask, what happens if 
such obligations are not fulfilled. We can see, we can observe what's happening in the world today. We can see that there are many places in the world at the present where there are numerous problems which have arose as a result of the failure to fulfill such responsibilities, such basic human obligations. One can read about them very often in the newspapers, in magazines, in journals, and so forth. Certainly, it will need no further elaboration. It is very clear to all of us. In a society, however, where such basic and fundamental human obligations are fulfilled at the various levels, we can find a great deal of harmony, a great deal of harmony and unity amongst these people, and the uh, the development and flourishing of what is called the divine or limitless states, namely of metta, loving care and kindness, consideration for one another, karuna, compassion, and mudita, a sense of uh, being able to rejoice in other people's uh, success. In fact, in such an, in such a society, when this sense of this chain of love, loving care, of compassion and sympathetic joy, together with the uh, prevailing sense of harmony and unity in the people, amongst the people, will bring about a state where it may not be necessary to impose external laws and regulations. And even if they are, then we find that people have become so uh, civilized that they will be very easy to be followed. In fact, uh, as uh, Nasara says that uh, there are certain etiquettes and conventions with regard to behavior uh, in respect of of uh, living, of eating, of dining, of relating with one another in society, of communication, of communi- of uh, communicating with one another. All these minor rules of etiquette and conventions too fall under the under this category of uh, the lay person's vinaya, the lay person's discipline. <laughs> It is also possible to include um, the national constitution and state laws, federal laws and regulations into in this category of discipline for the lay person. Let me lie now to me, I'm far. In your city, you're going to be a mean far off. In Chile, Chinese, I'm all up. 
ဘုရားတန်စာအချိုးကြဆင်ထားတဲ့ရှုချင်ပွဲတယ်ကိနေတဲ့ပုခုလို့ဖြစ်နေပါတယ်မှန်ဒီဟာမျိုးပုခုလ
his very well-intended、uh, suggestions, then we can be regarded as a person who、uh, is deliberately destroying his own blessings. Naga, taro di dabe, ngana le di dabe, sabi le li la ta dabe, ama pi zong di dabe. One can be very defensive in one's response to another person's kind gesture. One may think, "Well, I'm quite learned. I studied a lot." I've read a lot. I'm experienced, and I've done meditation a lot before, and I have had such and such an experience. Well, I don't need to be、uh, told what to do,、uh, and so forth. The conceited mind can work in a very、uh, brilliant way. <laughs> Sada would like to re,、uh, relate a story from the Jatakas that may be relevant to、uh, the subject of tonight's discussion. Kantara yati ne, wiriha yati, ay yati na pa ha, atu ne java. Once upon a time. There were two hermits by the name of Gantara and Vetaya who lived together. He was a dog who could talk quite well, but he was so much a genius that he could do yoga. He was a genius who 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 could do yoga. So, uh, remote abode in the Himalayas, and took up residence in the outskirts of a village at the foothills, because、uh, they were the object of great devotion. Because the villagers、uh, respected and revered them, they built a、uh, hut for both of them to stay. Nearby the village. Eri yadi na ba ha tamabukuri mho ba u. Kanda ra time suya ne. Hmm. Mina ba ne. We we di ha time suya ne mina ba ba. Kanda ra time sura gu Pakistan ne re masih ba. We di ha time sura ro India lebay masih ba. Tru time di di gu sumi ro. Yadi piu la ja ne. Bayi hau ne lu suya ne. However, these two hermits are no ordinary people. Gandhara, it seems, was a former king of the country of Gandhara, which today、uh, is to be found in Pakistan. And Vetaya, in fact, was the ex-king of a neighboring country in the middle in、uh, in mid. In the upper part of、uh, India. Every one of us, who change the language, the name Swangaya Yoga, Yoga is Puri the Sangliu. The Wiriha Yatika is Jong Kong Mu Ma Tu Ta. Then he said, "Jong." One day, when these two royal hermits. Return from the daily arms, arms round. Vetaya, Vetaya,、uh, had some extra salt. He finished his meal and he found that he had some extra salt, so he took it and kept it in the roof. You see, you have to look at what the karma is. That is, genius, genius, that is, genius, 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 genius. 
ซาปาระเลชีตาเวซามปาระเลชีตาเวกาวนาเลชีตาเวมะกาวนาเลชีตาเวอะดิโรเวอะดิอิยะกาโรซาลีดิอทุกปิภิโรสุเดเลสุบ
And now his friend was uh, find, trying to find fault with him. That's really preposterous. <laughs> On the other hand, if we look from Gandhara's point of view, he is quite right too. Now, both of them had renounced their kingdom to seek the truth, to, to lead this life of renunciation as hermits. And it's really very uh, unseemly that Vaitiha, who had renounced the whole kingdom, should have should harbor any sort of attachment for that little uh, handful of salt. So, which do you think is right? So I would like the audience here to. <laughs> <laughs> To decide for yourself. You need to learn your team what they can in a gay development can in. You can never take a a boy's in a body, so much over a bit as a gay than in a father. Father who am a beer, what he would say, Macanian is your pop for me. That's about what I should say. It's very natural. Human nature is such that. Uh, people like to be praised, and nobody likes to be criticized. Now, although, Gan- although Gandhara was, had the best of intentions in admonishing his friend, he was saying it in such a patronizing way that his friend felt really hurt and offended. <laughs> Well, Well, if Gandhara had been more skillful and diplomatic in his admonition, in admonishing his friend, then there would have been no problems. But because he was so candid in his comment, uh, it is natural for this sort of reaction, this sort of response to come from Vyateha. It's, it's like trying to give a very bitter medicine to a patient or to a, a friend of yours who is sick. If you do that, of course, then the patient would react in, uh, would react accordingly. But if one is wise enough, one could, you know, uh, serve the medicine in such a way that it is coated with some sugar or candy and it can, it can still be taken in a very, uh, nice way. เออวิทยาเยติหากันดาเยติสีกายิไตขันยาတော့ตีบขันในโลกูตีบขันในวุสุเรชีสัญญาတော့ดาเวตุยสัญญาวงก็တော့ရှင်ဖျားဟာတ
Gantara retorted, Well, what I'm saying is the truth. I'm saying the Dhamma. And because I'm not saying an untruth, I'm not saying what is not Dhammic, then there is, there is, I have no fault at all. I'm perfectly in the right. ทีนี้ท่านน่ะมาเมื่อสอบเนี่ยเอ่อไม่จ่าได้เช็คเลยดิแท้ตัวนี้เนี่ยเปียวอย่าสิมีอมีชื่อไปแล้วตัวตัว
Maybe he's saying that what Gandhara uh, has said is akin to shaving one's head with a very blunt razor. ตัวบาดที่ไกลหลุที่ไกลอีพั่วเปียเมียหลุบะหลอกเปลื้อนสวนตั้วสิรอเนี่ยตะยาเรหากูรอตะยาเรอเฉกูรอมาเปียวออก
and uh, collectedness in his behavior, demeanor, so that he will become the object of devotion and respect. He will become uh, well respected by other people. Upon hearing this, Veteha was certainly uh, struck by his own uh, obstinacy and realized the wisdom of what his friend Gandhara was saying to him. ไอ้ที่ไม่ค่ะเว้ยเนี่ยคู่กันสั่งยินนี่เว้ยสรุปสิเนี่ยตู้อด้วยตัวอจูเนี่ยตัวมาเว้ยอยากคู่เราวนช